Hey guys, it's P.M. Mathis, author and speaker. Just wanted to come by and have a little conversation with you today. I hope that you had a wonderful day. Hope that you understood that this is a day that the Lord has made and that you rejoiced in it today. I just have a topic about opinions. Um, I think that we live our lives too much with um, giving thought to how people view us their perception of us, how they think we ought to be. I just want to give you a word um, from God to help you to alleviate some of that unnecessary stress and worry and the need to be validated by other people. Um, I just have called this um, little video time with you, um, opinions. And so I'm going to start out with a little story because it will give you hopefully a visual picture of what people's opinions look like. Now, my husband always tells me I don't have a sense of humor. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But it don't really bother me because he thinks it's just because I come from up north and that I don't have that southern hospitality. I just don't find that it's um, I laugh at people's tragedies and that's what it seems like when you say that you have a sense of humor, what it looks like. So, you know, I, I just brush it off and, and let it go. And I'm also at a point in life where I'm, I'm not going to spend my time doing what other people think I ought to do. Um, I just have gotten past all of that. So, you know, those are just two stories that where people's opinions could have you bogged down and thinking that you need to do this, that, or the other. But as I'm going to hopefully help you see that that's not necessary. You don't have to do that. God has a bigger, brighter future for you, a better plan for you. Um, so your life has to be made up of choices that confirm what God has said to you, not what somebody else thinks you ought to do at this point, not what you um, are unsure about, but just know that God has a plan for you and he really wants you to understand what that is. And for me, I usually use a confirmation system of if I hear it three times, then I know, hey, this is for me. And nothing that you accomplish that causes you to have influence is going to be a cookie cutout of somebody else's lifestyle. You have to know that it is in your power to understand what God has for you, what he wants you to understand, what he wants you to give to the world. You have to trust that um, everything that you need, God has put into you. You have every tool that is um valuable to your walk, to your journey. And I want to read to you 2 Peter 1, 3, which says, as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. So as I said before, you have everything that you absolutely need to get through this life, to be an influence for others. Your hope cannot rest in man. It just simply, ha you just simply have to understand that God has that right direction for you. Now, there are people that will help you along the way on your journey. And those are um, valid times to allow somebody to step into that place to help you hear that word from God. But don't rely on them to be that voice for you. God's voice has to live inside of you. You have to be bold enough not to allow the um, viewpoint of someone else to distract you, to throw you off course, to say to you, um, well, I don't think you ought to do that. Well, it's not really their, um, their viewpoint that you're needing. What is God calling you to do? What is he asking you to understand? What is he asking you to give to the world? You must understand that your confidence and your reliance must be within you. You have everything you need, as you have um, heard me read in 2 Peter um, 1, 3. You have everything you need. There, there is no alternative. There is nothing that you um, need, nothing that can throw you off course. Yet there will be some failures in life, but the alternative is if you don't try, you will live this mediocre life 
and you will not be happy. And God wants you happy. He wants that abundant life for you. Today's world will have you believe that you're not enough, but resist that thought process because God has given you every tool, the heart that you need, that seed of faith that you need to accomplish your goals. I hope that this has been beneficial to you. Um, I want you to notice that behind me are my books, You Are God's Love Story, Daddy, You Can Hold My Hand, and Coming Soon, Ordinary Princess. I want you to be blessed. I want to, I hope that this message has inspired hope within you to understand that people's opinions are not where you need to live your life. I also want you to um, subscribe to my um, YouTube page, Ordinary Space. You can look me up um, by um, putting my name in, excuse me, PM Mathis or Ordinary Space. Um, also, I will um, put my web page on the screen. I won't tell you what that is right now because it's a little long, but I will have it posted where you can, you know, go by and see my website. Might find some interesting um, tidbits that will um, give you some enlightenment, will bring you a little bit of joy. I hope that you understand that you are blessed and you are powerful in God. This has been a Pew Partner presentation. Thank you.